This is the Drake and Kendrick Lamar <laughs> war, so to speak. And I want to know how everybody feels about it, especially now that you hear, you know, people's homes getting shot up. Now it's getting crazy. Oh, my right? goodness. Oh. But before we get into, like, the crimes, actual crimes, and we know who won the battle, right? We're going to talk <laughs> about that as well. We're going to talk about that. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to let Joseph go first because oh. Joseph has been very insightful on how he feels about who won the battle between Drake and Kendrick Lamar. And I want people to hear his reasoning. Oh, and yeah. also, if you can provide some content <laughs> oh, <laughs> about what's happening. I think you might have to help me. It's a, it's a long, that it's would be long. fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm taking my jacket off on this one. I'm taking my jacket off on this one. Yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, Uh-oh. I'm with the culture. You know, I'm what the culture's feeling as well. We're all feeling that uh, Kendrick. Definitely won this uh, battle. Now, when you say we all, what who, who, who the are you culture? For? I, I, like I said, the culture. Oh, okay. Because Double XL culture says, yeah. uh, Drake won. I mean, uh, Francois that, that, is pretty tuned into the culture too. What do you think? First off, before anything, hip hop definitely won. For sure, hip hop definitely won. Yeah, both artists came with it, brought their A games, um, but at the end of it. <laughs> There was one person that threw this haymaker, which was Kendrick Lamar, That's it, and, no, and, see, I, and I and I gotta give it to Kendrick okay, Lamar. I, I'm but but hip hop won. I want, I want, I want people to see this now. Go ahead now. Now hip hop won. Now he threw a haymaker. Yeah, hip hop won. What's the haymaker? He didn't just throw one haymaker. He just he just mm. he threw just all kinds of stuff. Mm. Okay. But but Drake did very well. Yeah yeah. I'm a Drake fan. I'm a Kendrick fan. I think hip hop won. Hip hop, it's probably gonna go down as one of the more memorable battles okay. of all time. I agree. So, I agree. So yeah, Jessica, so. you don't have a clue what's going on. That's no, fine. Hi, I'm Jessica. No problem. It's Jessica. <laughs> Jessica is an amazing artist or whatever. <laughs> I'm pan- I'm painting the room. So yeah. so uh, uh, getting back to Joseph. So you say he won. What's your, like your your main reason of why? Um, I feel like. Uh, on both sides, for sure. Both of them need to provide more, like, evidence, proof, Absolutely. you know, all that. Definitely on both sides. Yeah. But I feel like to the disses that Kendrick's brought to the table, there's at least a little bit more substance to them rather than what Drake's uh, putting out there. Because in uh, The Heart Part 5, he's making fun of... Uh, part 6. Part 6, excuse me. It's all good. Um, for Kendrick getting touched inappropriately as a child... Um, off of one of the songs off of Mr. Morale. But if you actually listen in, in, to the song, he's saying that he never got touched. So Drake made fun of Kendrick for something that never even happened to him. So Right, kind of like uh, Kendrick Lamar saying something about you know him having an 11-year-old child that he doesn't have, right? Yeah. So oh, that, well, you're right? That's, no, yeah. That's, okay. That's okay. why both sides need to provide more proof to the table. Yeah, so... so but, like, just completely misunderstanding the song that he put out there it went it went over drake said that that song off of mr morale like he, he's like making fun of him for something that never happened right in a mr morale song i have a different reason as why i think kendrick lamar won and it has nothing to do with rapping i think it's usa it, canada me personally um, to me to me it's just the strategy i really liked kendrick's strategy the strategy mm-hmm. was was just it for me it had nothing to do with his, anyone's rapping. It was just the way he was strategic in his strategy. And what I mean by that was Drake dropped a song called Family Matters, which, you know, I, I want Jessica to know what's going on. Yeah, so, me. so you know who Drake is, no, obviously. Uh, know who's Drake? Yeah, yeah who's Drake? <laughs> that's, my, that's, that's my cousin. He'll so be. Drake releases this song. I want to say it's Friday night called Family Matters. I listen to Family Matters. I'm like, Drake, you got it. This is the record. Now I like, I listened to it and I was like, we're going to play Family Matters. That so you'll yo, yo, yo hear you. it. I hear that record. I'm like, this is the one. Drake, you did, you did your thing. He didn't even get time to celebrate because within 20 minutes, Kendrick <laughs> came out with something. So it was like, it was like you were celebrating for Drake. And then all of a sudden you're like, but I have a question though. Yeah, but see, like and, from from an artist and, and, and as a strategy, I, I'm, I'm jumping in because from an artist's perception that creates music. That's a great strategy. It's not difficult when you know you're about to go to in a battle war with one of the best artists to have another song prepared. I, that it is because he predicted everything that he would say no, on that record. No, what I'm saying, well, what, what I'm saying, saying that, what that, I, was this plan. But what I'm saying as an artist is like for him to have another record ready. I don't think that was like so wild. No, see, see, you didn't, then, you but, didn't even let me finish because <laughs> he's like. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> but what, what was what, what what was so crazy about it? Because there's things he mentions in Family Matters 
that he's talking about no. in this song that yes. he released 25 minutes ago. later. Oh, yeah. no. that that's, that's, that's why it's He didn't just... mention everything in Family Man. He was alluding to things that he already mentioned. You got you got to really Yeah, I'm going to go back. Read, yeah, I'm going to go back. You got to you got to go back. That's that's why that's why I said the strategy of it. Well, what and, about and Drake's then, strategy then, of hold, the van? Hold on. And he had a whole music I, video I saw of, that. but I haven't heard any of you say that. I, I, I saw well, we'll that. We'll get into it. I saw that. We'll, we'll Wrong family, 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 family matters right now. We're on family matters but, right now. But see we're, we're not finished. Okay. See cuz right after that They're having a debate. Right after that, the following morning at 6:16 in the morning. Yeah. Right on the dot. Another Kendrick one. releases another song. Yeah, another but one. but then is it, <laughs> hold on, well, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, you're so, saying these songs, but like no, out of the songs he released, but, all of the but, songs but, were see, not hot songs, but, bro. No, no, but true. All of the songs were not. All of the songs were it's, not. It's, great. it's subjective. It is subjective. It's subjective. It's subjective. Just like it's the, subjective. Just like but, the, the but, beef is but subjective. Hold on. Yeah. I'm talking about strategy here. I'm not even talking about lyrics. Go off. I haven't even went on to this. I'm talking about strategy. I, I don't. See, I, do, I disagree. see because to me, I, I completely disagree. Oh, I understand that. I understand that. So, <laughs> I'm so just, I'm not wild by what you're saying right now, bro. I understand well, what you're saying, but, but see, you gotta you gotta <laughs> let me finish. <laughs> you gotta let me finish. But say it. So, if you release your uh, arguably arguably because it's subjective, your hottest diss record, and then someone comes back. 20 minutes and releases their diss record it's sort of like when you're watching a basketball game and you finally beat it's sort of like the Denver Nuggets who were always whooping on the Lakers and the Lakers finally beat the Denver Nuggets and then like a couple of hours later they lose again to the Denver Nuggets it's just like man we can't even celebrate yeah. our victory because Drake, we lost to you again Drake didn't even get to I'm him. waiting for it um <laughs> uh, but but then 6 6 16 in the morning see there's a lot that goes into the 6 16 date so 616, because Drake does 5 a.m. in Toronto, the 616 in L.A., a lot of people don't know. 616, there's a lot with that date. And if you if you know the date, you're like, man, you know, 616 is Father's Day, right? He already was talking about him being a bad father. So when I saw the date, I already said, oh, this man, this man okay, is so just, I'm, he's I, I, I got to jump it's, in, man. It's, it's, very, yeah. it's very strategic, and his whole strategy. Okay. As a rapper, I got you. Kudos. So, so even if you're talking about somebody being a bad father, which I liked about the video where Drake is taking the van from Good Kid, Mad City, I crushing the van. He's then the second, the second latter part of the video. He's in the same restaurant that Kendrick Lamar had bigged up. Like I'm eating in the same place that you had mentioned, right? To give this place love, right? Okay, that strategy as well as. In the video with Pharrell, he had the chains on that were Pharrell's chains and a mural of him and his son in the background, which showed his relationship with his son. I think it killed the fact of him being a father. Anybody that follows Drake sees how he is with his, with his child. It's not like we're just not noticing who it is. So that whole father dynamic, I think that's crazy. But I'm just, I'm just I think talking about him I'm, having a daughter. Right. I think that's crazy. Like it comes down to what's fact and what's, what's, what's real and what's fact. Now, I'm going to go into the last song for Drake. See, this is what did it for me because, like I said, I don't, I like music. So for me, I'm just a fan of music. Like I said, I'm a fan of both of them. Okay. So when he came out with his final disc record, which Joseph alluded to earlier, he was talking about himself. So on disc records, you're supposed to be going at your opponent. You're not supposed to be telling us how bad you feel about yourself. It sort of felt like you were waving the white flag. That's that's kind of how I felt. Like he was just basically saying, "I don't want to be in this battle anymore." <sighs> There's well, it, so it many got, people that are attacking me. I, 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 I'm kind of glad that it's over. Who said it's over? I think it's over. <laughs> I think the battle is over. Oh, I mean, it's been over. Yeah, you're right. It, I think it's over. I mean, they didn't drop for anything after some time, and it's like they're gonna keep going back and forth. And at the end of the day, who's making money off of this? Both of them. Oh, both. No, of but them somebody making, bigger than them is making money. Of course, but you know? they, but. Well, they're, they're making they're making money and then like I said hip hop won because it brought eyes not only to just yeah, them sure, but sure. the genre as well but I think just from a a battle standpoint I wasn't too crazy with Drake's last track it kind of made me cringe because I was like 
oh, you had such a strong record with Family Matters. So to follow up and you're talking about yourself and you're basically trying to defend yourself. You don't exactly. need to defend yourself. Well, I think you know, when so, certain allegations are said about you, you, you might want to defend yourself. It's not like he threw out something, you know, like, you know, size seven shoes. He talked about something serious. So, yeah. You have you have to credit the man. So that, that that was my only thing. That's well, yeah, the only so reason why. I feel but like I, Drake, I feel like Drake won. You feel like Kendrick Lamar won. I think the West Coast feel like Kendrick Lamar won. The at culture. The, the at world, the end of the day, the probably hip hop as a whole kind of won. Yeah, as I would oh, say, yeah, at the end won. at the end of the day, Drake's not going to lose fans or anything. No. And for people that listen to Drake, you know, you need to be appreciative of this guy. He has a hit for you every single summer. Kendrick Lamar does not. He comes out every. He comes out like Frank Ocean. Whenever he comes out, yeah, comes Drake out, is consistently will consistently put out banging records but all Kendrick the time. Kendrick has a Pulitzer. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he sure does. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, and what does that mean? He might not have a, a, a well, bop every, he might not have a bop every summer, but he's got classics. Drake doesn't have any classics. Yeah, but I, I like. But the thing about it is, you know, you pacify him or whatever. That is true. Like people don't care about that. Music is microwavable, but what's hot right now and then move on. It's not like Sade's it, music, it, bro. We sub, don't, it's we don't live on what's classic anymore. I, I, I think it, it's subjective at the end of the day because there's people that will look at Kendrick music and say they take away so much from it. Same for Drake. And then, the, same and then for Drake. And Drake it's is sub, going it's, after like nine people. And that's why I respect subjective. Drake more. Kendrick Lamar is focused on one guy, and Drake's going at focused. producers, rappers, well, people. It, that's well, just true, well, man. It's, it's, Wh whose fault is that? Yeah. It's not about a fault type thing. He, I, he, 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 there's a guy that wants to. It's, it's sort of like entering a ring, and you decide to punch nine people. Yeah, like there's a guy you, like yeah. almost <laughs> breathing on you're your neck, and this, you over here whose fault is that? No, no, because at the end of the day, <laughs> oh. at the end of the day, you don't hear any any records from Drake saying anything about future at any point in time. That's facts. You don't hear him talk about Metro Boom, and you don't hear these things. He doesn't talk about Rick Ross. He doesn't talk about. I think maybe Abel, uh, which is who's, a, who's the weekend. That? Drake, the weekend. Drake, you don't have any records of him talking about any of these other people. Of course he does. What yeah, record does. was he talking about Metro future Boomin. dissing at him? Um, no, I'm talking about you're saying other people. Yeah, yeah I'm mentioning the other people that yeah. that Drake did not have. Family any. Matters was about 10 people. No, I'm talking about before the dissing came out because oh. you said who started it. He never mentioned anything about Drake. I am mean, excuse me, about Rick Ross. He didn't mention anything about Metro Boomin. He didn't mention anything about Future. So these people, you say he started it. I disagree because well, there's no records of him talking well, no, about these I'm, people. I'm not saying, I, no, you, you're missing it. I didn't say he started it. I'm just saying there's a man on the other side yeah. that wants to battle you. Focus on that. Yeah. Leave these other people alone. Oh, exactly. Well, I, and what I'm saying don't, is like. The don't other, even talk about those I other people. I respect Drake for going after everybody that had to say something about it. But I see, respect that. But see, he, he's so unfocused. David Goliath. He's you, so unfocused. Focus on the no. Man he did a good job. Focus but on the man who's in the ring with you. Double, okay. double XL says he won. So, so, so I don't care about so, double XL. And so, I, don't, I don't care about complex. So quick, qu <laughs> Me either. quick question. I got a so quick subjective. question. I got a quick question for you. Then. Go ahead. If you're gonna use that right as your thing, like I love that he went at all these people. The double edged sword to that is you can't use that when when problems come and you're like, man, I'm going against all these people. See, because that's what I'm saying happened in the heart part six his last song he made it sound like he was defending all these other people and it was like why are you talking about other people that have nothing to do with this focus no, I, on I, the one that's what i'm saying like if you're a, gonna say like there's no rules in a battle rap i think you just focus on who you're focused on that's it. yeah i think that if you're, if you're gonna though. use if you're gonna use so. that like you gotta also look at it from the perspective of okay if i'm gonna use that i'm battling nine people you got to be able to at the same time say, hey, if this comes back at me in a negative light, I got to take it. It's fine. It's about it. It is what it is. I just I had a question for you because you say you don't know anything about his happening. She knows everything. Um, is, okay, is there, sure. Are there like entertainers like, you know, how Taylor Swift came out with her record and mm -hmm. it was supposedly at Kim Kardashian. Is that something that you would do like secretly like diss somebody? Absolutely not. You wouldn't diss anybody you on know, I was, wax? I was thinking that the whole time. You guys, I was like, I was like. You know, just every artist is amazing in their own way. Right. Every mm. artist is going to have their own path of success. True. Why battle, fight, dis like, it's just do your own thing. You know, like Drake everybody and Kendrick. Everybody wins. They're, they're, <laughs> I think everybody wins. I think Drake and Kendrick are both unbelievable artists. They are. And I love them, their music for different reasons. And, like, I don't think it's a battle between which one's better or I don't think they should battle. I think they're both amazing artists and they should go on their path. 
Yes, indeed. Yes, you indeed. don't want that Taylor Swift, John Mayer type of energy. <laughs> you want that no, Taylor Swift. it's not. Taylor it's Swift not going hard it. over here. I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing, and if, yeah, if, no, if someone awesome. were to come around and want to battle me, I'd be like, "That's your own battle, babe." 